Hey guys, so um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of why I like to use CorelDRAW for doing stickers or print and cut operations or, well, pretty much um, anything that doesn't require like vector-based painting or vector-based textures. Um, I, I just, I like it a lot better for doing sort of brute force print and cut operations or, or standard sort of uh, uh, sort of things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you, this is my CorelDRAW. It's set up um, a little bit differently than the standard. I have this bar here and in the bar uh, as you can see I've got lots of quick um, quick release or uh, quick buttons um, and they mostly come from I don't enjoy uh, coming over here you know and holding down the button to get my pen or or uh, holding down the button to get um, like you know fountain fill uniform fill or the different tools so what I've done is uh, I've created a toolbar and I placed all those objects up here and in another video I can show you guys how to do that for sure um, but uh, just for now this is sort of just basic print and cut sort of stuff so the two most important things um, are gonna be this contour tool here and also this create boundary um, it's grayed out right now because you can't use it obviously nothing selected so there's nothing to create a boundary around. Um, so, but those for doing like stickers with contour cuts are the two most effective tools that CorelDRAW has. Um, so I got this banana here and say, you know, I want to make a, a set of stickers and I want to cut out like uh, an eighth of an inch, um, a white border around them for my my printer. So what I do, really simple in CorelDRAW, I'm just going to select all the objects. I've got uh, obviously a yellow curve here and a black curve. Um, so I'm going to select all the objects. I'm going to go over to this button here. I'm going to create my boundary, just like that. Creates a boundary around all the objects, even if objects are overlapping, which is a really awesome, uh, unique feature about CorelDRAW. And I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I haven't poked around in Illustrator long enough uh, to find a good way to do this. But um, for me, CorelDRAW just seems to be a little bit more intuitive for doing this sort of work. Um, so then I'm going to pop over here uh, to my contour tool, click that. And it gives me this menu bar up here, and we've got uh, interior contour, contour to center, and exterior contour, and that's what we're going to be using today. And I've already specified uh, 1, 0.125 or one eighth of an inch. Um, and obviously, you can change this to whatever you want. 0.5, press center, you're going to get a half an inch contour around your object, or uh, 0.005, and you get a very tiny, almost non-noticeable contour. But uh, yeah, so that's a good example. For here, we're going to use. Uh, 0.125, one eighth of an inch, and what you have to do now is, without clicking anything or having anything else selected, you can just press Control K, and that's going to break apart the contour group, and we can navigate down in center here, and that's the inside contour. We want to get rid of that because we don't obviously want the uh, the cutter to register that and cut it. So just press Delete, that disappears, and there you go. Um, now I'm used to using a Roland um, cutting system, uh, the Souljet 2. And what we had, uh, you just essentially just set up a color that's named, a spot color that's named 100% cut contour. And whatever color that is, uh, the Ro Roland sees that as a cut path and it just uh, cuts it. So I'm not sure what kind of setup you're using um, or if you're using maybe your graph tech or a Mac or something to do cutting. But uh, for this case, let's just say it was a print and cut operation with a spot color. You just go over to your spot color, 100% cut contour. And this is what I really like about CorelDRAW. You just right click and that sets the, the stroke. There's no clicking and setting and, and messing around. Just left click for fill, right click for stroke. And that's it. You've got bananas with a cut contour around them. Um, what I really like about CorelDRAW, like I said before, is sort of how it handles these operations really simply. So say if I want to add some stuff to this, say uh, just delete that. See how the company I'm, I'm doing a sticker for has a, like a big red circle in uh, in the background. So we're going to make the circle, we're going to turn it red, and we're going to right click to turn off the stroke in the no color well. And we're just going to shift page down and that's going to take that to the back. And uh, two things. First thing I'm going to show you is the interactive fill tool, which it's a godsend. It's or the smart fill tool, sorry. It's a godsend. Um, if Illustrator had this, I, I don't know how much I would use CorelDRAW. If, it, if Illustrator had these two functions, uh, the create boundary, and the fill tool, uh, I, I would use it probably hands down because then you get vector painting and some other stuff in there. But this tool is, it's amazing. Um, you just set the color you want. So we'll say you set it as white. We're going to go in here with these overlapping vector paths. Click that, bam, it's white. Now we're going to right click the no fill. That's going to set it as no fill. And we can even, if we want to, uh, click this, shift click the circle, and we can punch it out. So now if we move this, you see that it's, it's removed the center. 
uh, so that our cutter, or if we're using a, a traditional uh, plotter, um, it'll cut that piece out as opposed to like when we print it, we just leave it white, obviously, and it doesn't print any color there. But um, for efficiency I, and uh, for efficiency of cutting, I like to have all these shapes as single curves. So you can see that again, just Control Z to get back. So like I said, um, CorelDRAW really deals with these um, these kind of contour cutting things really well. I mean, I know some programs like FlexiSign uh, do a really awesome job um, cutting making contours directly inside without having to do anything else and there's some scripts and stuff for that out online but uh, if you're just going to do it the old traditional way this is how I do it so you select both uh, again all your curves and you hit the create boundary and it creates a boundary around all the objects there and so I'm just gonna do that again so that it stays selected and head over to your contour tool and let's give it a quarter inch 0.25 inches there you go press control K breaks it apart and click that, delete, and you're done. And you've got a nice reasonable contour here around uh, your sticker. And you can do this with pictures. If you, um, if you take a picture and load it up, for example, um, and you can turn it into a circle and then create a cut contour around it, um, it's, it's amazing. It's really quick, really fast, and especially if you have this stuff set up, which I will show you guys next time. In the next video, how to set up this toolbar so you have um, you know, a little bit more efficient um, it's it's really great and it's really simple. So guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, checking this out. And uh, if you have any more questions, leave me a comment or fire me an email or a private message, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, until then, have an awesome day.